Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter. I wanted to talk to you about shell scripts in GitHub Actions and specifically how to run a simple shell script when you run one of your jobs that are part of your GitHub Actions workflow. Now, two commonly questions that I get asked are, what are all the different environment variables available in GitHub Actions? And another question that I get asked is, how do you actually run a script in GitHub Actions? So I wanted to show you how to answer both of those questions. In a previous tutorial, I actually created a simple YAML file, a simple build script in GitHub Actions. There really wasn't much to it. The only thing that it did was it used an Ubuntu latest container, it checked out my latest code, and then it ran a bunch of bash command, bash shell commands. It looked at what my Java version was, it looked at the different build tools that were available, and then it actually ran this command here, env, which shows you all of the different environment variables that are available both in your container and from GitHub Actions. And of course, there's a lot of commands here. And so I thought, you know, why don't I combine a couple of requests here, which is A, how do you get the environment variables, and B, how do you run a script by taking all of this data here. So I'm just going to copy that, and I'm just gonna put that into a script file right in the root of my project. So I'll come over here, getting started with GitHub Actions. I'm gonna add a file, create a new file, and I'm just gonna call it GitHub Actions script.sh. And in there, I'm just going to put in everything that I had previously in that other command. So I'll commit that file. I'm going to head back to my workflow. So now I've got the script there, GitHub Action Script.sh. I'm going to head back to my workflow. So click on Workflows here, go to the main YML file, get into YAML. And of course, I've got all of that script right here that I don't need anymore. So I'm going to delete that and I'll just say echo nothing to see in the multi-line script. And then here, I'm just gonna run that script. Now to run the script, you're, you've got access, access to the bash shell. So I just have to do dot slash and then say, what is the name of that file that I created? I think I called it GitHub actions script.sh and that is actually going to run that file. Now actually down here I'm actually going to do uh, a little ls command echo here's here is what is in the folder and I'm going to do a little ls-a now, actually, I think I just forgot something there. Uh, in front of that run, I want to put sh there. If I don't put sh there, I'm going to run into a permission denied error. So make sure that you just put that there and you've got permission to run that shell script. So I'm now going to click start commit and click commit changes. So I'll click start commit, commit changes, and that will kick off the continuous integration with GitHub Actions. I'll come over here. Take a look at the status. Looks like I didn't give it a very good commit name, but it's queued up. It should run in just a moment. It's now in progress. And now it's completed. Let's take a look at this. Clicking on it, go to the build section. It was part of the one line script where we called the GitHub action script file. And that now actually called a lot of commands. And of course, here's the result of all those commands being called in that GitHub action script, where we take a look at the directory, we take a look at the versions of Git and Java and Gradle that's installed, and then of course, take a look at the 70 or 80 different variables. And there you go, that's how easy it is. I'll just go back to that file one more time, but that's how easy it is to create a shell script and call that shell script inside one of your GitHub actions. And there you go, that's how easy it is to run a shell script in GitHub Actions. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. Lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, Java, enterprise software development, DevOps, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.